The Brennan monorail was a gyroscopically balanced monorail system invented by Louis Brennan, an Irish-Australian mechanical engineer. Unlike conventional monorails, Brennan's vehicle balanced on a single rail using two large gyroscopes. This system eliminated the need for a second rail or mechanical supports. Brennan began developing the concept around 1903. He filed his first patents in 1907. The core mechanism involved two horizontally mounted counter-rotating gyroscopes, each weighing around 200 pounds, 90 kilograms, spinning at 3,000 revolutions per minute. The gyroscopes generated angular momentum, allowing the vehicle to self-balance even when stationary or heavily loaded. They were housed in gimbals to ensure balance along multiple axes. By 1909, Brennan completed a full-scale prototype. It was approximately 40 feet 12 meters long, 8 feet 2.4 meters wide, and could carry up to 50 passengers. It was powered by a petrol engine driving a generator, which in turn powered electric motors for both propulsion and the gyroscopes. The vehicle had four driving wheels arranged in pairs for forward motion along a single steel rail. By 1909, a 12-meter monorail equipped with a 20-horsepower gasoline engine carried 32 passengers during its inaugural test run. In 1910, it transported 50 passengers at speeds up to 20 miles per hour at the Japan-Britain Exhibition in London. In November 1910, a public demonstration was held at the Royal Navy Engineering School in Gillingham, Kent. The vehicle successfully carried 32 people and remained stable while stationary and during sharp turns. Winston Churchill attended the demonstration and supported further development. Brennan proposed applications for passenger transport and military use, including deployment on uneven terrain. However, British rail companies and the War Office declined adoption due to high infrastructure costs, complexity, and maintenance concerns. The monorail remained a prototype. By the mid-1920s, the project was abandoned. The original vehicle was eventually scrapped. Today, only photographs, diagrams, and scale models remain, preserved in institutions such as the Science Museum in London. Though the Brennan monorail was never commercialized, it influenced later developments in gyroscopic technology, including self-balancing vehicles and spacecraft stabilization. It remains one of the earliest and most ambitious attempts to apply gyroscopic principles to land transport, a technical marvel decades ahead of its time.